in the midst of preparing for this next video, I realize we have some statically defined arrays that will not grow. Ah, that's bad! Because I'm going, if our category index goes well past our defined constant of 20, that or we sample more than 500 frames, uh, this situation is probably much more likely than this situation. But either way, we can go out of bounds, stomp on our memory, do nasty things to our memory, which could will give us very undefined behavior. I don't want to do that. So I'm actually going to drop a quick and dirty assert here. Uh, assert that category index category index is less than max profile categories. And we also need to assert that the uh, frame index, sorry, the frame index here is less than our max frame samples. In fact, I actually want to do that one first. Let's make sure we're okay to do this frame. If we're okay to do the frame, let's make sure we're within the bounds of the categories. Again, I'm going to change up this assert and not in the not too far distance future so we can do some logging and get some more debug help. The more we can write to make our life easier, the better. A little payment up front will go a long way. Same thing with this profiler. We don't necessarily need a profiler to build our game, but um, we'll get a lot of mileage out of this. Don't worry. So we have those checks now. It's time to implement the shutdown function in the hopes that we can get our unit tests to pass. So let's write some code in here to basically output the data that we've collected. We're going to need to open a file to do that, though. Pound include... Uh, F stream, and then here we're going to say uh, output file stream. Stream. Uh, what should we call it? Out stream. And we need to pass it the file name that we saved a while ago. The first thing we need to do, if we go back to our uh, sample data here, is we need to write out the header. The headers for all the categories. And then after that, we're going to write out the individual samples like so. Uh, it also hit me, we wrote assertions to keep track that we're getting the same headers in the same order, but no place did we check to make sure that we got the same number of categories. But now that I'm thinking about it, this, uh, where is it right here? This assert will take care of that unless they pass us a no. Uh, because that'll default to null, because it's statically defined data, it'll default to uh, zero. So I'm actually going to add another check here. And category not equal to null, which is a short key if I had a 12 on it. It's a pound defined for zero. You can say zero when it comes to pointers. So I'm going to do a double check here. One, you can't give me null. Uh, two, you have to give me a category you've given me before. And three, if you give me a category, if you give me more categories, a subsequent frame, then you do... Oh, this is interesting. What if you give me less than? Oh, so frustrating. <laughs> what if you give me less categories? All right, this, this check will catch if they give us more categories because say they give us the category out here, I don't know, Bob, for example. Well... You know, so say down here they're trying to give us a sample 50, 5, 55 on frame 2 or any subsequent frame past 1 uh, that is not called Bob or, or is called Bob. Uh, this check will catch that because the PC.name will be null, they'll give us Bob, and this will blow up. Uh, but what if they, instead of doing that, on a subsequent frame they stop early and say, well, we'll give you 3, 4, and then we'll go to the next frame. So we actually don't have a check to check for that, I actually. I do want to check for that. So I'm going to say if frame index is not negative one. Remember negative one is where we started out with the one previous prior to the first frame. We're assuming or forcing them to call a new frame before they do anything else. If frame index is not negative one, then we want to assert that the category index is equal to the number of categories they gave us last time. In this case, it will be three. Well, or in the, or we could say it's zero base, so zero, one, two. Um, 
we're not keeping track of the number of categories they gave us on the first frame. We got to do that. All right, so we're going to need a unsigned int num num used categories. And this one, we're going to start it out at zero as well. Num used categories get zero. And then when they add an entry, if the frame index is zero, we need to keep track of how many uh, categories they've given us. So, so I'm going to say category index, wait, what did I call it? Num used category, sorry. Num used categories plus plus. All right, first frame, let's track the name and track the number of categories you've given us. Otherwise, past that, we're going to assert that the name you gave us last time is equal to the category, and the category is not null. I also, let's be consistent with my curly braces here. I also want to, and this is just the professional programmer in me, because I know mentally this check will catch if they give us too many categories. But if somebody actually does give us too many categories past, past the first frame, this it's going to force them to think and debug and try to figure out what's going on. And again, I said I'm going to add a logging system with some very explicit error messages. But for now, let's just do something that'll help help mentally. I'm going to say assert assert. Uh, this is getting kind of difficult because we incremented the category index up there. So I'm going to increment it down here. Category index plus plus. I am going to assert that the category index is less than the number of used categories. I think that's a little more explanatory to a programmer if they get an assert to prop, pop up in front of their face. They can see, oh, the category index is not less than the number of used categories. How did I do that? And then they can go and debug that. That's a little easier than this. All right, I think we have enough bullet point, bulletproof checks here. Also, notice if it eats you up that I'm using control structures here without braces because it's one-liner, that's probably fair. That's just my style. I, I don't see any use to wasting two lines of code, one for an opening curly and one for a closing curly. But also something, if you're really pro, you'll realize, hey, assert is a macro, and macros can get hairy if you don't surround them with parentheses and curly braces. Well, I just happen to know that the built-in macros are written correctly so that there's no problem here. And when we write our own assertion macro, I will show you the hiccups and hang-ups with macros and curly braces and parentheses. But for now, I'm moving on. Assert that category index is equal to the number of used categories. So every time they call a new frame, they better have used up all of the categories in the last frame. Basically, every single one of these has better be filled with a value before we move on to the next one. Look at all this checking I'm doing, but I think it's it's just critical. I can't stress enough how important it is. The more checks you can do and the more info you can give yourself and or your team, the better, uh, simply because it saves on debugging time. I mean, tomorrow I'll be out of context. If I, if I get an error in here, if I can give myself information about the error, then then I won't spend hours on end trying to figure out what's wrong. Okay, shutdown. OF stream, out stream, file name. The first thing we need to do is write these headers out. So let's do that. For unsigned int. And notice I'm typing unsigned int, unsigned int, unsigned int. We have a lot of that, and I'm going to show you how to fix that later. I get zero, I less than uh, number of used categories. I plus plus, and I'm going to add curlies for now until I see I don't need them. Uh, outstream, uh, something else I'm going to put here, uh, I think it's iOS trunk, to truncate the file if this file already exists, which it, chances are it will because we're going to run several profiles and use the same file, then truncate it, meaning delete everything in it, let's start over. Uh, outstream, uh, what do I call it, categories? Categories sub i 
dot name. And then here's another check. If i plus 1 is less than num used categories, and I'm actually going to wrap this in parentheses just for readability's sake, then outstream we want to put a comma else outstream we want to put a new line and these are actually characters so I'm going to delimit them as characters and then uh, a little tangent if I may if you notice here I'm saying if this do this. Otherwise, do this thing that looks almost the same as what I told you to do otherwise, except change one little part of it. And, oh, it's just eating me up. That's kind of verbose. So I'm going to go ternary operator here. Outstream. I'm going to convert this if to a ternary. Outstream. I'm not sure if it's going to help on readability, but we'll try it. Uh, we want to... So if i plus 1 is less than the number of used categories, then uh, let's do a comma, else let's do a new line. All right. So well, basically what I'm doing there is saying, hey, uh, if we're on the last category, then we need a new line out here, not another comma. Remember, we're going to put commas between these categories here, but then a new line at the end of the line. So that's what that's doing there. I'm going to get rid of all this right here. And let's stretch this over so I can see more of the screen. Uh, so that's that's the headers. All right, I'm going to put a comment out here. Right category headers. Now we need to. What's it complaining about here? Outstreams undefined. Using std. Yeah, you know what? We're just using it here. So I'm just going to be explicit and say standard of stream. There we go. I kind of get I get so used to having these red squigglies in front of my face, it's hard to know uh, what's legit and what's not. <sighs> write the category headers. Now we need to write out the individual uh, samples. So pop, 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 like that. So let's do that. For unsigned int uh, frame, frame, all oh, I don't I hate naming variables. Let's frame, I'll just say frame, get zero, frame less than frame index, frame plus plus, drop curlies here for now, go in here, oh we need another for loop. So. We have a for loop. That loop I just defined will take us frame by frame this way. But now we need a, another for loop to go down the actual uh, categories and drop the individual samples out to the file. So let's do that. For unsigned int cat, short for category, gets zero. Cat less than num used. I'm sure glad we added this variable there because I'm using it a lot. Uh, cat plus plus, and then I want to say same thing. Well, actually, watch this. I'm going to say const uh, profile category. One of these. Remember, instances of these are was, is what's keeping track of our category data. So I'm going to grab a const reference p gets categories sub sub cat dot samples sub frame. Oh, no, I don't want to do that quite yet. Let's grab the profile category and then I'm going to say outstream p dot samples sub frame like so. And then same thing as we did before. If we're, if we're on the last category, we need to output a uh, backslash n, otherwise we want to do a comma. All right, it looks like our check here is saying, hey, if we're not on the last category, then yeah, let's drop a comma. Otherwise, we're at the end, let's drop a new line. So I'm going to cheat, copy, paste. 
Here's hoping my logic is correct there. Haven't tested it yet. And if it's wrong, then I just copied and pasted an error, which is bad. And I actually think it's kind of verbose to get this temporary variable that we're just using to do the samples. So I'm going to cut, paste, get rid of the temporary variable. Uh, okay, but we're no longer I here. We're, uh, we're doing uh, categories, right? So if cat plus one... Alright, I'm going to control shift B, see what's... So these may be IntelliSense errors, they may be compile errors. Let's control shift B, see what the errors are. You probably have witnessed, noticed several errors as a... Oh! <laughs> I guess IntelliSense is wrong. <laughs> it built. <laughs> Do we dare run it? I wonder what's going to happen if we run it. Is it going to... Oh, it's kind of scary. I always get scared running code. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Oh, let's run it, but we'll do that in the next video.